Dr. Suvarshila, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. When we ask you to get a semen analysis done, it's not just the count motility morphology that we are looking at. We're looking at volume, we're looking at the proper pH, we're looking at the liquefaction time of the semen, a number of things that we are very carefully analyzing, which tells us a lot about your reproductive system. We are also looking at other aspects, you know, than just what I have stated, which could be white blood cells. White blood cells give us a fair indication of the infection level in your body. According to WHO, World Health Organization, white blood cells should not exceed 1 million per ml. So that's a standard. If it exceeds that, it could mean that there are infections inside and then we have to examine closer to understand your history your uh, and in, inside that medical history, sexual history, surgical history, uh, all those things are taken and then uh, we come to a conclusion that the infection could be due to so and so reason, we get a semen culture test done and then come to the final conclusion and start giving you treatment. So what could the in infections come from? It could be a urogenital infection uh, as in urinary and genital as in testis or prostate all these organs could be involved and it's a very uh, common thing to see that urogenital infections are causing more WBC count in the semen. There could be a genital infection, just a pure genital infection like chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, all these also cause an increase in WBC and uh, these are not good because they bring down the capability of the sperm and such patients uh, have been seen to become infertile over a period of time if left untreated. If there are any autoimmune diseases, these also bring about a raise in WBCs because of which the sperm capability or capacity to fertilize an egg comes down therefore fertility is also uh, hampered presence of varicocele if there is varicocele in testis the heat of the testis is increased due to which sperm production comes down not only sperm production the sperms that are produced are also affected by the high increase in temperature this causes a raise in ROS, reactive oxygen species. Well, it's like a poison for the entire environment becomes very poisonous and sperms are also affected by it. Therefore, when varicocele is present also, elevated WBCs or white blood cells can be seen, which could give us a fair idea that some infection is happening inside the body as well. Inflammation of genitals, suppose there is an infection or there was a surgery done or you are recovering from a hurt or something from an injury, definitely there will be an increase in WBCs. It's your body's way of reacting to the infection or pain uh, or recovery or uh, regeneration of cells. So that could also lead to an increase in WBCs. Then comes your lifestyle decisions that you make, smoking, alcohol, all these also increase WBCs. Now, just increase in WBCs, you know, and the reason for it is not enough. I have told you they affect the sperms. How do they affect? They bring down the morphology, means that the shape is hampered. And if the shape is not how it's supposed to be, and like an arrow can't reach its uh, target, even sperms cannot swim towards the egg and fertilize the egg to make an embryo. So it's very, very critical that the morphology be maintained. Then comes sperm integrity. By that I mean that when the DNA is exposed to this kind of an environment, there is infection, WBCs are elevated. This kind of an environment brings about changes in the DNA packaging inside the sperm head. Such a compromised sperm will not be good when it comes to fertilizing the egg and the quality of embryos are also affected by it. Not just this, it also damages WBCs, elevated WBC levels white blood cell levels uh, damage the acrosome layer. Acrosome is a cap on the head of the sperm which is very very critical for fertilization. Once the sperm hits the egg, the acrosome reacts with the outer membrane of the egg and then the sperm is led to enter the egg. If the acrosome is not present, then this reaction does not happen and fertilization is affected. Therefore, when elevated WBCs are seen, acrosome layer is also damaged. If you want to understand more, if you have been given a report that WBC levels in your semen analysis are elevated, please feel free to contact us for further information, further medication and a second opinion. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.